Howdy! Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Steam Link Beta for Android. But I'm going to do something a little bit different to what the people have been doing. I'm actually going to run it on one of these which is an Amazon 8 inch Fire Tablet. There is another one of my videos which teaches you how to get the Google Play Store onto this tablet. Uh, this will also work with the 7 inch uh, and the 10 inch. If you want to know how to do that then the link is somewhere up here. There? Maybe? Yeah, up there. There it is. Haha. <laughs> Click that later after you've watched this. Before we jump straight in to the Steam Link app uh, there's just one thing I need to make sure everyone can hear and that is do you hear beta or beta? Because I say beta but pretty much everyone else on YouTube says beta which just sounds stupid. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let's jump straight in. So the first thing you see is the Steam logo. Uh, I've connected an Xbox 360 pad to the tablet so that was just showing you that and my connection is strong 5 gigahertz. So first things first, I'm going to jump in and give GTA 5 a whirl. So I'm going to skip the loading screens and jump straight in. The, uh, the streaming seems to be uh, a lot better than it is on the Steam Link devices. I don't know why that would be. Um, I would have thought the overhead and the low resources on the, the Amazon Fire tablet would, would really struggle. Uh, but it, it seems really good. Uh, the the video that you're watching is a little bit jerky, but that's more down to the screen recording software that I've used on the tablet. And the, this tablet does only have two gig of RAM, or is it one and a half gig? I can't remember. I think it's probably one and a half. But it uh, it runs well enough to play. I probably wouldn't play it online um, because there may be a little bit of latency every so often. Some of that might be down to the fact that uh, the Steam app is only in beta not beta beta uh, but it's it's playable um, offline games uh, uh, seem to run really good uh, the I'm getting less artifacts on the uh, on the streaming than I was on the on the steam link box which is nice um, because it was it was terrible if you're not seeing my my video of that my little review in 2018 then it's just about to flash up at the top of the screen and I'll put it at the end of the video as well um, but yeah in vaguely populated areas the uh, the game still runs well the PC I'm using in the background is uh, just a Pentium G4560 ah there we go <coughs> so next what I'm going to show you is some of the gameplay where you can see in real time what it's like on the screen and you can also see me pressing the buttons so you better have a look and see what the latency is like if any um, it seems really really responsive there's not much there's probably a few microseconds or milliseconds gap but it's uh, yeah it's responsive enough which is very impressive to say it's, uh, it's all streaming over Wi-Fi next I'm gonna run crisis so I've plugged in a mouse and keyboard into the tablet using uh, just a really cheap generic USB hub and I'm pleased to say that the Amazon Fire 8 <laughs> does actually run Crisis admittedly streamed from my gaming PC but uh, yeah it, it, it seems to work really well uh, the, the resolution of the Amazon Fire tablet is good enough to, uh, to play games so there we go even when there's a bit of action on the screen there's no, no lag or no delay I'm just rubbish at the game. <laughs> so let, let me know what you think in the in the comments. Let me know if you've had any other experiences not quite as successful as mine using the uh, the new Steam Link app. As per usual, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please do so and hit the bell notification icon so then every time I put a really silly video on, you will be one of the first to know about it. See you later.